Hello guys, welcome to the reading. So this is going to be interesting. It will be for Haley Bieber. So let me just see what's happening with her, like in her mundane life. I just want to pick that up first before I get into like the deep shit. So let's see what's happening with her in her mundane life. Alright. Doing things a little bit differently. I started doing it this way. Um, as far as like pulling cards out like this. What reading was it? Um, <laughs> so I know you guys came for the reading, but I gotta get the energy now or get what it was. Um, it was for, oh, my Michael B. Jordan uh, reading I did, the follow up. So, okay, let's pretty much see what's happening. Let me actually pull the cam back a little bit. My bad. All right. <laughs> Again, I'm like crazy about these things being right. Okay, so let's see what's happening with her. Uh, this Seven of Pentacles? You know, this deck is definitely all about the imagery for sure, right? She is definitely building. Not just that. She's claiming her power. She's claiming her authority with this crown here. Very interesting. I did a reading for her a few months ago. You know what I mean? And it was showing, like, interesting things. I forget the details because it's been, like, a long-ass time. But what what was being shown to me in one of the readings was that she was basically, like, observing, like, the world, basically. Like, people's perceptions and whatnot. That she wanted to kind of, like, break out and just be, like, this crazy sort of, like, you know what I mean, chick. <laughs> like, doing the most and all of that. But what I'm seeing with this particular card is that she has definitely matured. You know what I mean? Not just that. I'm seeing it's like she found her place. She has definitely found her place in the world. Fascinating. Let's see what the next card is. Love. This is actually interesting. I'm actually getting some positive energies, right? I'm actually seeing that her and Justin... Things... You know, it's not so tough. It's not so tense. It's not so heavy. You know what I mean? Yeah, Justin, you know, he strays a bit. Because if you look, this guy doesn't know that he's going to fall off the cliff. <laughs> he's not paying attention. So what that symbolizes is like cliff. So he speaks of like new beginnings and whatnot. So what I'm seeing with this lover is just that, yeah, they're both... In they're both finally, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely feeling each other's vibe at this moment. Like, things aren't so tense. You know what I mean? But he does still has, like, that habit where something else can grab his attention. I'm not going to even lie with you guys. That's what I'm picking up. You know what I mean? But it's kind of just like, damn, they've been going through so much shit lately. I mean, it's kind of just like a lot of shit has been happening for them. And it's funny because... I just found out today, like literally 10 minutes ago, that she uh, had a mini stroke. <laughs> so I'm just like, damn, these people have been going through a lot. So it's definitely fascinating, you know what I mean? And I, f I know what the name is, but I don't want to pronounce it because I never usually say that word. But that is definitely, you know, the sign of the whole medical industry and all of that. So what's being shown to me is that that sort of situation is definitely a divinely orchestrated event for the both of them. You know what I mean? Again, I'm still getting a vibe of karma, not just that. I'm getting a vibe of um, lessons needing to be learned. You know what I mean? But during this time, it has brought them together is what I'm seeing. So very fascinating. I mean, because, like, you can't necessarily make that shit up. You see this shit? That's literally the medical sign. And this is the lovers. Like, what are the chances, right? And it's above his head, above her head. So what's being shown to me is that that shit has definitely kind of, like, made them, like, grow a little bit closer. This chariot, again, with this seven, is giving me a divine orchestration. You know what I mean? Not just that. It's a sort of fusion happening here. I'm definitely seeing a fusion. You know what I mean? This is interesting. I'm picking up a changing of a cycle. You see this 444 four, four here? That whole angel number? That's definitely fascinating. And this inverted pyramid? 
it's definitely giving me a transformation that's happening for the both of them. You know what I mean? I'm getting a vibe of Rose starting to be reversed. So this is fascinating, right? Because what I'm seeing is kind of just like things has completely changed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how long they've been married, but you know what I mean? Let's just say like, I don't know, like things is definitely different from like a year ago. Things has definitely evolved. So let's see this next situation, this temperance. She's enjoying life, you know what I mean? She's definitely balanced. I'm definitely picking up an energy of balance. Not just that, I'm getting an energy of time. She decided to let time do what it needs to do. So what I'm seeing is she's definitely in her power as far as like her mundane life, as far as her everyday life. You know what I mean? She's focused on her money, her business, her businesses. You know what I mean? Things are going really well for her as far as that goes. Not just that her and Justin, their shit isn't so tense as it used to be. I mean, we don't have much of a reading here as far as drama, right? But hey, it is what it is. And as far as this chariot, you know what I mean? Things are definitely changing and switching up. Roles being reversed. And it's because she's become mature you know what i mean not just that she's letting time do what it needs to do but i'm not going to leave it here i'm gonna actually look deeper what else can i see regarding this situation you know because the previous readings that was doing for them this card fell face down i'm gonna put it here so that's definitely her motion for sure all right interesting all right so let's get the energies this is this card came out face down right so this is definitely her emotions so let's see you don't own me Ah, shit, guys. You see, I had to, like, look into the energies deeper. Because I'm just like, mm, you know, it's great when people's lives go, like, really perfect. But we all want to see something a little bit fascinating and interesting. If it's definitely there. If it's not there, it's just not there. But what this is showing me is that this has definitely empowered her. She's making her own money. Shit's going good. And she's just like, yo, dude, you don't own me. You know what I mean? She's definitely aligned. Not just that, she has that freedom she always wanted. You know what I mean? This is giving me a bit of flashback from like the previous readings I did for her. Where it was showing me that she wasn't necessarily financially independent, especially like growing up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, money was tight, not because her father didn't have the money, just because he wasn't like generous with it. So for her, she definitely feels empowered. She's like, yo, I'm making my own money. I'm doing my own shit. So what's being shown to me is that she's a bit of a rebel. You know what I mean? Because she has that freedom. So, I mean, that's definitely cool for her. I think that's great. You know, this situation, though, right, of the in your dreams, you know what I mean? This manifestation, deja vu, patience, this blissful energy. This is temporal, you know, I got to be real with you guys. Yeah, you know, it's kind of just like things are calm and peaceful at this moment. But look, this is a dream. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a dream bubble. We know that dreams don't necessarily like last long. You know what I mean? As far as like when you're sleeping. <laughs> I'm stupid right now. But when I'm seeing, excuse me, let me have a glass of water, excuse me. Gotta take a break. Because sometimes I just, like, go straight into the interviews and shit. If you made it this far, definitely press the thumbs up. I appreciate the support, naturally, of course. About to drop my water being an idiot. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, what's being shown to me is that it's temporal. I gotta be real with you. It's not gonna last long as far as this piece. <laughs> So, I mean, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's see this next situation. The reason why the roles are being reversed is because she has been a saint. You know what I mean? She has been kind of like innocent. 
you know, with this innocence, this virginal energy, this virgin here, you know what I mean? This angelic. So what's being shown to me, and again, with all these sort of like angel numbers, she's definitely been in tune spiritually is what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? And again, if you watched the reading that I did for Justin, you know, I didn't say that it was her. That was like, kind of like, you know, casting like all these sort of basically evil spells and sending out the evil eye. Because to be honest, I didn't pick up her energies. You know what I mean? I actually brought up it could possibly be his mom, you know, but I didn't necessarily exclude Haley because, you know, I didn't look directly into the energies. But what I'm seeing is, is that, no, nah, she's actually been pretty cool. You know what I mean? So this is actually really interesting. You know what I mean? She's not being shady whatsoever. She's all about Zen and peace. Not just that, she is in an elevated sort of like position in life during this time spiritually. That's why roles have to be reversed. So she's going to be gaining power that she didn't have. You know what I mean? This is fascinating. This applies to multiple angles in her life. You know, not just the whole Justin situation, but I'm getting even with sort of just like her family, her friends, you know. So it's kind of just like if she's been kind of like in a bad position with, you know, particular things, that situation has been reversed, you know, with this chariot. So that's what that movement is about. Now, this is fascinating, though, right? Because I was telling you that she's basically like just in harmony. She's in bliss. This is an interesting situation whenever this card comes up. Because if you look, this guy, he's like all touchy-feely with this female. You know what I mean? And she's actually kind of like pulling back. And that energy is definitely relevant for this situation now. You know, because she's been empowered. You know, and I'm going to be real. Like when I did the previous reading, she didn't get with Justin because of love. You know, so it's kind of just like, you know, now that shit's kind of looking good for her, you know, she's thinking about shit. She's thinking about her prospects is what I'm seeing. You see this with this performer? She wants to shine. Not just that. She has her confidence. I don't know if I said that right. I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> so she's definitely, definitely confident at this moment. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning. That's why I'm just like kind of weird but yeah so this is interesting it's showing me it's just like you know she's in her power and shit so she's thinking about shit she's like yo i don't think i want to really fuck with him like that you know what i mean again though she's not stupid you know so she's kind of just like if she is going to make a clean break she's going to be really financially independent yeah it's showing me things are going really good but, you know, I don't know how deep it is. I'm not going to ask. I'm just letting the energies, like, speak for itself. But what I'm seeing is, is that she's definitely feeling herself. Not just that. Again, she does want to shine. She wants to be in the spotlight. And, I mean, you can only, like, you would know this by looking at her YouTube channel. You know what I mean? She enjoys, like, being out there. She enjoys being heard, being seen. She enjoys performing. Not just that. She doesn't want him to be a part of none of this shit. <laughs> you see it's just her she's just like yo you know but i mean it's a good situation i'm not seeing anything bad you know this is just real life shit we know that justin's been cheating on her and all sorts of shit and you know if you've been watching the past readings i've done so now i'm gonna ask um sort of like questions because <laughs> i'm curious how does she feel about the whole situation that happened to justin as far as the sickness and all of that what can i see regarding that how does she feel about the whole situation ah damn ah damn oh damn this isn't looking too good right because the seven of Sto swords seven of swords what the fuck excuse me the seven of swords is a strategist <laughs> and you know, I want to make this point, like, clear, because I know some people are going to be like, yo, I thought you said that she's in the elevated, you know, mind frame and that, like, you know, she's, like, innocent, she's pure. Like, yeah, that shit's true, but we have to be realistic here, right? Life is deep. To be honest, we're not really meant to be in this world to be just fucking, like, saints and shit, like, giving away all of our shit and not having any sort of, like, ambitions or anything and not having sort of, like, a shadow element 
this world is about polarity for the most part. So it's kind of just like, yeah, she's definitely elevated and all sorts of shit. But again, you know, this is a real life situation. So yeah, you know, it was showing me that, you know, she is a cool person. I'm not seeing a bad person, but what's being shown to me is that, you know, she's kind of just like, oh, fuck. Like, you know, if he possibly dies, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to get? You know what I mean? So she's strategizing. That's why she don't necessarily want to leave the relationship. You know, she's just like, what will I be entitled to? You know, she knows what's up. You know, it's no secret. We know that Justin does um, drugs. We know that, you know, he's in a lot of shit. She, this female, she's really smart. She's not stupid by no means. So it's kind of just like she's thinking about the long term. You know what I mean? Because this is an energy of not fighting. You know what I mean? This is an energy of strategy. It's kind of just like when you let sort of like your enemies or your opponent hang themselves. You know what I mean? Where you don't necessarily do the most, but you operate like sly and shit. So what's being shown to me is that, you know, she's definitely operating in a like very thoughtful manner. You know, it's very secretive and it is a bit dark. But again, to be honest, I'm going to be real with you. I don't usually talk like this because I know people are sensitive, but it's kind of late. So I'm kind of like free at the moment. <laughs> this is actually righteous energy because sometimes you need to be in perfect balance with the good and the dark so it's, or the light and the dark. So it's kind of just like she's in her perfect balance. It's kind of just like she's letting God do whatever God needs to do. She's letting whatever needs to come to her, come to her. You know what I mean? But at the same time, she is a being. So she's in existence. So it's being shown to me that, you know, she's trying to play smart. You know what I mean? She's definitely trying to play smart. She's trying to protect herself. Not just that. I'm getting a strong hermit energy, right? Because hermit, it doesn't mean just, you know, being alone and shit. The hermit is about processing energy. So that's what I'm getting. She's definitely processing the prospects and the opportunity. And I know I'm staying on this card for a minute. And it's because that's what I'm picking up really heavy. Like, hmm. So that's what's happening. So I'm going to be real. She's not really emotional about the whole Justin situation. She's thinking about like, yo, what the fuck will be good for me during this time <laughs> and in the future? Now, I'm curious, right? Because these people, they've been going through shit. And yeah, I said earlier that things like their unfortune or misfortune was divinely orchestrated. That's true. But we also have to understand that the dark operates, you know what I mean? Because of the creator, because of the light, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? So let's see, is someone sending them sort of just like bad shit because it's like, you know, she had a heart attack, a stroke, whatever the fuck. Now that dude, his fucking face is paralyzed. So like, it's a lot of shit going on with these people. So I mean, what the fuck is happening? Shit, is it a spiritual like attack? Is it... Mmm, I'm getting a vibe of family again. I'm definitely getting a vibe of family here. And I know I say again because of like the whole Justin reading I did. This is definitely a family vibe. It's something going on. I'm getting with their DNA. I'm actually getting with um, haters. They definitely have haters in their family that's sending them the evil eye. You know what I mean? And this is actually letting me in, in a, on a sort of like secret or some shit, but they do have sort of just like people in their family that's attached to particular craft. So that's funny that that's coming up. Let's see, I want to look deeper into this situation. Ooh, this is deep. I think I mentioned this. Now that was actually the Lori Harvey reading, but this has to do with your path in life, right? This is when sort of like a witch or a wizard, you know what I mean? Try to block your path in life. You know what I mean? I believe it's called like blocked roads and shit. So what's being shown to me is that they definitely have people in their camp that's hating on them. That's doing spell work. And again, this is evil, but I mean, you know, if the Most High allows it, then it's divinely orchestrated <laughs> regardless, you know what I mean? Things happen for a reason. Obviously, everyone isn't just living and, you know what I mean, have good health and shit. There's people suffering, there's people hungry, 
I mean, you know, the divine, he sees that. The divine knows that, you know what I mean? But obviously it's happening for a reason, you know? I mean, it's realistic. But what's being shown to me is that they both have people in their family that's trying to fuck them over, trying to cause shit to be stagnant. Hmm. I'm picking up some heavy energy. It's like... They really want these people to suffer, you know? Not just that, they feel good when they see them suffer. Not just that, but my nose, actually, I don't know if you guys heard, like, probably the tone or the pitch of my voice switch up, like, a few seconds ago, because I had to uh, wipe my nose, because it's really itchy, right? And it's something, hmm, it's definitely symbolic, you know what I mean? It's definitely something spiritual going on. <laughs> But uh, let me get the top of the deck. What did I tell you? <laughs> Not just that. I'm seeing that they're trying to fucking harness energy as well. Not just that. They're putting, like, the people that's against them are putting energies out. Evil spirits. Evil emotions. I mean, goddamn. Let me look deeper with this deck. What can I see with this deck? Because it's getting deep. It's definitely getting deep here. Guys, definitely tell me what you guys think about this situation. Because I'm curious. You see what this Eight of Swords, they want them to be in depression. You know what I mean? Fear. Anxiety. Stress. That's what these people want for Justin and his lady. You know what I mean? But again, the world is here. So it's kind of just like, even if they are enacting some sort of just like divine retribution or whatever the fact that this is the world is showing me that things um are going to become full circle you know what i mean so it's kind of just like you know yeah you might be sort of just like operating in the divine sort of just like stage of life and yeah like doing evil shit might be your destiny but things become full circle and i know this world card looks different usually it's like earth and it's like a circle and all of that but what's being shown to me is that things become full circle so yeah i'm gonna leave it here guys definitely tell me what you think this is some deep ass shit for sure like goddamn. but yeah thanks again guys